Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a marble ombre. So if you're interested, definitely stay tuned for this video. So guys, these are my nails that I just recently did. These are all hand painted with acrylic paint. You can check these out on my Instagram at Drippy Nails to see more pictures and videos. So today I wanted to show you these um, marble um, acrylic nails that I did with an ombre effect. I did one of my clients nails in this color um, a few days ago and everybody raved over them so I wanted to show everybody how to do them since a lot of people asked me you know how I did the marble and then the ombre on top so here I am using glamming glitz this is in one of their yellow with glitter um, I will put in the description the actual name of the acrylic I don't have it on hand at the moment and this one is just a pink hot color, hot pink um, acrylic color, and I just mixed in um, glitter. This is Young Nails Peachy that is going to be used for the ombre, and then I have Young Nails um, that is the clear acrylic. So here I am just laying the yellow acrylic with the pink, the hot pink acrylic. And when it is still wet, it makes the acrylic change colors, of course, and it turns into this really pretty orange, bright orange color. So you can see the marbleization of the, um, the acrylic where it goes from the hot pink into the yellow and it turns orange. So um, when I was laying the acrylic on my client, I didn't realize that the acrylic would turn into this color. I was using a lot of liquid. Um, to get this effect of marble and I didn't think that the colors would change so much but it came out so beautifully I just went over it again with yellow filling it in in some places so that you know it popped and you could see the pink still and you could still see the yellow but it did form into orange as well so when I am marbling this different type of way of marbling I apply um, bigger splotches and it is more wet so it is more marbled when I do do um, when, I, when I do do marbling uh, typically I use drier beads and I marble that way but this time I'm using um, thinner um, acrylic beads uh, really wet and I'm making a thin layer of this marble so this marble is going to be encapsulated so I'm going to go up um, pretty high up on the tip of the nail because I want my ombre to be very dramatic. Um, the ombre that I'm going to be using the color is Young Nails Peachy, but here I am just filling in some spaces that need more color, more yellow, and I'm going to pat it thin. This is so pretty. Look at how that looks right now, guys. Really, really pretty marble. And it's all glitter and it's so pretty how like the transition of the glitter goes with the other colors of the other glitters like they all look the same but they look like they're changing colors like when the um, other acrylics mix together so that effect you guys will see at the end of the video so right now I am laying the smallest bead this is how I typically ombre um, I use a really small bead first to cover over the line, um, the line of the colored acrylic. So I place it right above the line of the colored acrylic and I bring it down just a little bit and then I build on top of that and slowly bring it down so it covers more of the line so it looks more like an ombre effect. So one thing that you guys do know how I lay acrylic, I always place my bead down straight in the middle, pat side to side and bring down. And that really helps with the ombre as well to make it very even and precise. Um, one thing that I, I'm really OCD about ombre is where one side has more of an ombre effect than the other. So I will go back and forth putting beads right in the middle going pat 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 side to side bringing down so that it is completely even in the ombre is very even throughout the center to side to side so right now I'm just fixing the sides of my tip 
patting everything smooth. I'm gonna add another bead here, bring down my ombre just a little bit since this tip is longer. When I do have longer nails, I do like my ombres to be longer as well. I typically don't like an ombre to be at the very tip and then it's nothing but color. It kind of looks funny to me, so um, this is just my preference. I like the ombre to be a little bit longer than um, just around the cuticle area. So now I'm going to be placing clear on top of the colored acrylic. So one thing that I do like to do when I am ombreing is I like to place um, clear acrylic on top of the color all the way up into um, the portion where I stopped the color acrylic because when I file and when I buff it will take away the um, peachy color um, where the ombre is and you'll see more of the color so to avoid that I put on um, a thin layer well not even a thin layer I fill out the nail with clear acrylic making sure that my colored acrylic is completely colored um, covered as well as the ombre where the ombre starts to fade out you really want to make sure that that is capped and sealed because you don't want to file it away and then you know you'll have a, a terrible line like you'll get a really terrible looking line on the nail when it is not capped and sealed so thin layer of color thin layer of ombre cap it with clear acrylic and I am just blending it out so that it looks flush and you can't see the line of the clear acrylic you do not have to place clear acrylic all the way at the top of the nail since around the cuticle it's nothing but the ombre color peachy so it doesn't matter if you file that there's enough acrylic that it won't mess anything up but once you get further down towards the color that's where you want to start putting your clear acrylic so now I'm just buffing out all of the other tips that I did prior to this video um, I didn't do this video before I did my clients nails I just wanted to show you guys how I did the marbling on these nails so this was the first um, tip that I did with uh, with the marble effect and I'm just buffing it clear so it can be really crystal clear. You can see the glitter inside at the end of the video. You'll see once I put on the gel top coat, you'll really be able to see the details of the colored acrylic and the ombre. So a lot of people have asked me, you know, about my person, my nails personally. I do my nails myself, guys. Like, I'm really OCD when it comes to my nails. I really like them a certain way, and plus I change them so often. So um, I get a lot of questions asked about, like, what is all my nails? They're Flatbush Zombies. They're a rap group. Um, so I decided to paint my nails based on one of their album covers. So that's what is on my nails right now. So I'm going to be putting Gelish Foundation um, Gel on these nails before I put on the top coat. So um, one thing I have noticed about my top coats and things, I've really noticed how some of them are more clear than others. I used to be a really big fan of the... Um, Kiara Sky um, no white top coat but I don't know if it's the vendor I'm getting it from but I don't think I like it as much anymore um, compared to Jellish. I've noticed that Jellish has a very nice um, a very nice shine after the foundation I mean after the top coat is applied um, Kira Sky's no wipe is convenient because it's no wipe and you're completely done at the end but it doesn't give that shine um some other uh top coats I have used I've liked um but I haven't been able to find the products that I've used in other shops I've worked at so once you've put on the foundation gel you will cure it for 60 seconds you'll cure it for 60 seconds for the foundation as well as the top coat so this is how it looks with just the foundation on it's already really shiny it's really pretty 
So now I'm going to be using the Top It Off um, Gelish Top Coat. I really love these brushes. They're so big. I really like them when I'm doing like gel manicures because they get to the cuticle really nicely. And it gives that even like, that even like smile line around the cuticle of polish. It's so even. So I really like these brushes that uh, Gelish uh, uses for their top coat at least. I'm not sure about their other colored um, polishes, but with this foundation, I mean with this top coat brush, I really like how large it is. So again with the top coat, you'll cure this for 60 seconds. So now this is what it looks like. This is the final product, guys. This is before I wiped it off, but I wanted to just show you what it looks like. Look at those glitters inside of the marbleization. It is so pretty and how well the marble goes into the color. So this is my client's nails that I did a couple days prior to doing this demo video, but look how pretty these nails are.